What's up guys and welcome to Tina, the first round of uh, the Irish Drift Championship here and as you can see in the background all three of the Origin Works uh, cars are lined up. Shane just heading out for his last couple of runs of practice and Patrick following closely behind. Uh, the two boys are up today in Pro-Am and uh, they've already done a few laps of practice. They're flying it. Uh, I'll probably drop in a few runs of in-car camera here shortly, but uh, they're really starting to nail the line. Especially for Patrick, it's only like his second competition and he's, uh, he's absolutely flying. So I'll stick in a few runs of their practice runs here now. <laughs> is just sitting there for the moment pro practice isn't until uh, lunchtime today about 1 30 so we're gonna watch the guys make sure that they're getting dining in that qualifying line for practice then they're first up for qualifying and uh, hopefully they get on okay and they get a couple of battles today so uh, fingers crossed for them both Unfortunately, that's our Saturday done. Uh, Patrick and Shane both, unfortunately, just missing out on the top 32, and especially Shane qualifying in 33rd position. Absolutely soul destroyed, destroying for the two guys. Uh, absolutely got it from because both of them are really driving well today. It just didn't come together in qualifying, and that's the way it goes. Uh, drifting is such a such a tough sport that way like you only have two shots at it and if you don't uh, don't pull it together for those two qualifying runs you're just going home early and uh, that's the that's the aim of the game really like it's really unfortunate from uh, because they were a little bit behind in scheduling today didn't get the 180 out for a little bit of practice but it uh, looks like we'll have plenty of runs tomorrow as well so uh, we're gonna watch the rest of the action now uh, it looks like some of the battles are gonna be absolutely insane and we will see you guys uh, back here really early in the morning for pro practice see you then What's up guys and welcome to day two of IDC round one. We've just finished up practice here and uh, conditions are we say, less than favourable. Uh, it was rained really heavily overnight and uh, because of the weather it just really hasn't dried up very much at all. So conditions are really really patchy. Um, but to be honest it's actually suiting my car really well because I'm still on road tyres it seems to be finding a lot more grip and uh, we actually have pretty good pace out there. Um, relatively happy with my chasing too. I will throw in some clips from practice us right now. Oh, <laughs> 
we're just getting ready to head out to qualifying now so we have two two runs to get it all done I um, think my lead line is relatively dialed in so I'd be hoping to qualify like mid pack or maybe a little bit higher but uh, you, that's the way it goes uh, we saw for which Patrick and Shane yesterday sometimes qualifying doesn't always go to plan so fingers crossed for us hopefully it goes okay and we will see you back here just after qualifying finished up qualifying and uh, super happy with our score we ended up finishing in uh, sixth place with a score of 85.3 uh, as you saw the first run was a complete disaster going really well until I dropped a wheel between clipping points six and seven just before the finish line uh, which really deducted my score down to like a mid 50s or something like that but I uh, really pulled it out of the bag for the second run and finished up with that 85 point run really really happy with that I think I have the qualifying line pretty dialed in and now we're on to top 32 battles so really look forward to this i think it's going to be super fun hoping that the rain is going to hold off a little bit but uh it's really trending at the moment but uh here we go It was at this point that I just became an absolutely terrible vlogger and completely forgot about the camera. Um, you know when you get caught up in the moment of battles and you're just concentrating 100% on driving, you completely just for disregard the whole vlogging thing and uh, just concentrate on the competition at hand. But uh, just to fill you guys in, um, the reason that that battle only went to, I only had my lead run of it, unfortunately Mark had mechanical issues and wasn't able to, to make it out for his second run. He never liked to win a battle like that, but look, we'll take it, and that meant that we went on, went on to the top 16 to run against Magic. A very, very eventful battle, as you'll see in the next few clips. Let's check it out.
So a really great battle with Magic here. Uh, I knew from the first run that I definitely had an advantage. My spotter was after giving me the heads up in the earpiece, but uh, I definitely knew that I still had to push for the second half of the run. And luckily enough for us, his tire came off the rim for the on the first corner, which you saw from that awesome drone footage, which obviously gave us the win. Luck was definitely on our side for the first two battles, but. Winning that top 16 battle meant that we were gone through to the top 8 and we were up against our really, really good friend Tomas Falvey. Really exciting battle here and you can see lots of trills and spills. And uh, yeah, just I'll, I'll leave you guys watch the footage and see what you guys think. So, as you saw, a very, very eventful battle with my good friend Tomas. Um, I'll be honest, at the time, I wasn't sure if the judges made the right call with uh, saying that um, I was at fault and Tomas wasn't. But looking back in that footage, the guys 100% made the right call. I had dropped the wheel, I was definitely slowing in a full acceleration part of the track, and uh, yeah, it was 100% my fault that Tomas hit me. Unfortunately for me, that caused quite a bit of damage to the 180. The, what was left of the body kit before that is an absolute in tatters and a few other small bits and pieces definitely need a replacing. But look, that's the way drift competition is. Um, to be honest with you, if you, you just saw the chase run there, I was super happy with that. Um, it was kind of balls to the wall. I knew I had nothing to lose. I knew the battle was already over at that stage and uh, I just gave it everything I had. And I'm really, really happy with that. Really happy that Tomas went down to podium. Um, he's a really good friend of mine and uh, yeah, he, he absolutely deserved it. And uh, look, I'm gonna close out the video there. I was super happy with this event. Uh, Tina was a really, really good track. It was uh, flowed really well. Um, very, very enjoyable to, to drive and I couldn't believe that I actually ended up finishing in the top eight, uh, fifth overall in the championship at the moment, uh, going into round two in Watergrass Hill, which is actually this weekend. So guys, uh, thanks so much for watching and we will hopefully see you guys in Watergrass Hill. Make sure to get your tickets there. Make sure to head down and, uh, and uh, support us. We would hope to see you all cheering us on. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one. Definitely going to have a vlog up of Watergrass Hill. It's looking like it's going to be an absolutely incredible event. See you all there. Peace.